Ipswich's defeat has certainly left the door open for Leeds United to take their place at the top of the championship table today. In their way, though, a Coventry City side who have won four of their last five in all competitions. They've certainly got the wind in their sails. Passengers at this stage between Messrs Farker and Robbins. Let's see if we come what full time, shall we? That man is hot property, Ellis Sims. 13 in 10 in all competition. Right in the goals as well. With 16 himself. Leeds United are blessed with goals all over the place, but Patrick Bamford is their target man today. Pace from Daniel D James down the wing. Certainly required. Sunny day, glorious sunshine. Leeds football under Farker is neat and tidy to say the least and an early opportunity possibly Coventry can't clear their lines and Bamford still not totally clear and again Coventry players throwing their bodies in the way Leeds just trying to unpick the lock late for the season for Bamford just couldn't quite get his shot away quickly enough again though Coventry bodies in the way Mara. But again, Coventry snapping away. Her hair just gets Coventry away. And that was a foul advantage played, a foul on Sims, but referees played an excellent advantage. What can Coventry do from here? It's right, it's low, and it's saved. Melier, 17 clean sheets this term. Nobody more in the championship, but he had to be on guard there. Word of note for the referee playing an excellent advantage. Right, does he go inside or outside? He gets his shot in hard and low. Melier does well. Wind's blowing from the west today. Will it blow this ball towards goal? That's a deep one and it's almost headed in at the back post. And Leeds haven't cleared their lines. Coventry keep it alive and it's in. Coventry with a surprise opener. Not a surprising goal scorer though. Ellis Sims is on target once more. Fourteen in eleven in all competition for him now. It was kept alive, wasn't it? At the back post, Bobby Thomas and Sims is brave. He knows Melier is going to come out. He knows he's probably going to get a, a face full of fists, but he puts his head where it hurts, and Sims breaks the deadlock for Coventry City. Could it be another playoff push for the Sky Blues? Tommy Farker's not happy. And Melee in front of Melier and Coventry try and expose that, it's low. From Callum O'Hare, brought back into the side today by Mike Robbins. Got his shot away, he's been in the headlines for contract talks or lack thereof. Focused on his football today, it's a good shot. It's another good save by the lead shot stopper. They're lucky it's only one here, Leeds. Furpo just wants a bit of movement in front of him. Eventually gets it and gets the ball back, in fact, and they've stood off him for a while. It's a good cross, and how's Bamford missed? He doesn't quite know himself, I don't think. Pretty in pink, but missed that chance. He's created the space brilliantly, Bamford. Just can't get anything on the end of it. Again, battle hardened, robust in the tackle as well, and it takes a bit to get him off. The referee says it was the ball. Tom Neild liked a good battle, this referee, that's for sure. Somerville. It looked like a foul, and indeed was a foul. Jorginho, the player brought down. But I think... They wanted a free kick for a foul on Callum O'Hare, not given, and... 
leads counter attacking. Somerville tries the cross. It is a good cross. It's palmed, but not too far away. Eventually, they do clear their lines, Coventry City, and in fact, they break away here. Evac down the inside right. Eccles, it's deep, and it's in! Coventry have two! You can't wipe the smile off of his face, what a finish! All in the cross from Eccles. Coventry City have a two-goal lead! Mark Robbins men have not read the script here. This was Leeds' opportunity to go top. And at the other end, Leeds thought they could have nicked an equaliser there. How about that first touch? Superb touch and drive. Evac decides to set it back and just watch the cross. It's pinpoint. It looks like he'll go with his left. He goes with his right. It's right. Two right. In it goes, and Coventry have a two-goal lead. Daniel Farker has got some thinking to do here. Mark Robbins' team are looking up. Playoffs last season for them, of course, ending in heartache. A fancy... Another roll of the dice. Shell shot Leeds United. Somerville, all fine old man, twisting and turning, half a yard. Looked like handball, but I didn't see too many claims for it. There's a possibly a claim. Junior Furpo looked like he was claiming it, but some of those cross. Did well to generate a yard, didn't he? A, a yard, half a yard. I thought it was a handball shout there. Off my eyes, deceive me. Sun kissed arena. Leeds need something back in this game. If they get one, they'll fancy. They could potentially get a second, and it's cleared off the line. That's Bidwell, I think, throwing his body at everything he's got there, indeed. Stood up well. And again, some of it was just brilliant at finding half a yard, isn't he? Bidwell knew how important that was. He's done excellently to get the side of his head on the ball. That's easy to score an own goal from that. There's purpose in Leeds United at this stage, isn't there? Yes, they're 2-0 down. But they fancy it. Matteo Fernandez gets a cross in. It's scrappy, it's incredibly scrappy. But it's in, and Leeds United have one back. They've been threatening it. Piero has it. And he says, get the ball. Ending a, a streak of nine without a goal. Coventry didn't clear their lines, did they? They had a couple of opportunities, but they just didn't clear the ball effectively enough. And Piero said, thank you very much indeed. Now, this is going to be an interesting end to the game. There'll be some nerves from Coventry. But they know that uh, they need a bit of support from the fans, and they're delivering. There are going to be holes as well that possibly... Oh, it's getting a bit nasty. And the referee, Tom Neal, has got a little bit of work to do here. Eccles shown the yellow card, and you can understand why. Somewhat violent, but an opportunity for Leeds United. They need one more to take a point. They would have been hoping for all three in that fight for the championship. And this is an opportunity! Oh, it's scuffed by Piero. He scored one. I don't think he caught that right at all. Goalkeeper Collins stood up well. He's frustrated, look. Falls to him. No, he doesn't catch it at all, does he? He knows that's an opportunity, he knows that's a chance. Coventry keep their lead, but Leeds are asking plenty of questions. The keeper's up here. Final knockings. To get a point for Leeds United. Or to keep all three for Coventry City, which they do. 
Pleasantries at the start and pleasantries at the end between the managers. That's a huge three points for Mark Robbins' men. Ellis Sims with a brave header for the first goal. Hadji Wright doubling the lead. Leeds thought they'd uh, got a route back into the game. Piero scored one, he could have scored two. A record attendance here as well, 30,232. Applause both ways, they needed each other, the fans and the players today. Coventry marching up the table.